Hello, what do we have here? What's going on guys, Aaron here. In this video, we are gonna head down to the car boot sale. It's Saturday morning, and hopefully we're gonna find some real cool bits. Now, I didn't go last weekend because I was in Paris. Uh, the weekend before, I didn't have enough time to do a video, but I did find some cool bits, which I haven't even had a chance to get out of the bag, which I just realized right now. So I, at the moment, I don't have a carrier bag to go with me and the boot sale, but I found some really cool bits. I showed it off on Toy Vision. One for me, scale tail, some cool tr turtles in there. It's cool, wicked battle conquers. That is cool. So we had a really good time at the boot fair. Shame I wasn't actually, uh, got some action force in there as well. Some space precinct pogs. So yeah, I never had time to show off that because I've been pretty hectic and busy. Um, I didn't do any filming from that Sunday car boot sale, which was annoying because I found the Marvel Legends and the Scale Tail and all that sort of stuff there. Uh, on the Saturday, I found some action force in one store and literally and some G.I. Joe. That's all I bought from last Saturday's boot that I went to. So I'm hoping this one now is a lot better and we can come away with a good mixture of classic retro and vintage toys. Anyway guys, please like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'll see you very soon at the end for hopefully a haul. Anyway, enjoy the video. Yeah, I might eat them. How much you got on that? Um, five pounds. That's all. Okay. That's right, work for you, man. That's right. That's what I have to think about. Is it all these bits? Yeah, he can always take a car and it'll be like separate. Yeah. So you can. <laughs> so yeah, if you take this off. Yeah. You can take. He comes out there. This man. Yeah. yeah. You can also take this one out. Yep. And use this as this tail. This and this go together to make like a car thing. Classic and use Power like Rangers. Trains. Yeah. All oh, right, mate. As you sold it so well. <laughs> I got it from the back. The last lot. Is it? Yeah. I'll tell you what I can improve, that can be 12. Seven two seven, so that is the yeah. Exactly, yeah. Exactly, mate. Oh, mate. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, PlayStation one Fifty feet. Yeah. Right. Get 
couple and sort something out, you know. It's yeah. Anything particular after all? I saw the Star Wars figure that got me excited, but. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> We've got some. Yeah, it's almost a bit of a uh, sort after thing, isn't it? The Star Wars stuff. Mmm. I'll take these off you. Okay. Let's call it 150. Sure. Yeah. All right, thank you. Right guys, here is the haul. Here is all that Power Ranger stuff that was in that box. There's also a few Thundercat bad guys there. Look, he's got his weapon. Rat one's got his weapon too. Uh, this was a bit of a crazy. So basically, like I said earlier, this was already picked up by another toy collector earlier on uh, last week. And uh, he just done me a super deal just to buy the lot of him. We've got Thunder Assault Team there. We've got the Megazord there, the OG. But look how all these accessories it has on it. We've got horns. He's missing one horn, but it's good. It's got power cannons there. That's cracked there, but I do have the uh, Tyrannosaurus tip, which is cool. I can get that swapped over and completed up. Super happy. It's got a not so badly chewed sword. Serpentera here. We've got... Uh, Ninja here. The sword, unfortunately, on Ninja is snapped, but uh, which is a shame. But if you put it in like that, you can't notice it. Uh, we got the Shogun Megazord here again with it, all the accessories. Sword's a bit bent round, but I'm sure we can uh, flatten that out. The shield. I've put the um, white, uh, the Falcon Zord onto this because when I was doing it, I didn't realise. I had a complete Ninja Megazord there as well, which obviously the Falcon Zord goes on the back of. Which is cool. We've got a Tiger Zord in there with all of a few bits. Again, all these are only missing little tiny bits. I thought the, there wasn't, from the picture that I saw, I didn't realise how many complete Zords there was here. So that was amazing. Uh, as you can see, there was loads of bad guys in there. Uh, we've got Zed, we've got Pudgy Pig, we've got the Bee, uh, Snappy Shark, whatever he was called. The um, Minotaur one. Again, some really cool bits. And again, like I said, the Thundercats were pretty cool. So uh, walking around, actually around the boot fair, there wasn't too much to find apart from this. Picked up this cool Jurassic World Raptor in this cool like prowl mode, which was pretty uh, decent. Uh, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is also what I picked up. So happy with that. These are always a cool figure. It's really well made. I had one of these when I was a kid. I always had the Green Goblin with the glider. Uh, great film. Really enjoyed it when I was a kid. And uh, I still watch it every now and again now. And I think the toy lines are really good. And with this one as well, his um, legs, as you can see, just they're not janky and loose, which is pretty decent for uh, those figures because you pose them in really cool places and, you know, legs go. Uh, what else have we got? We got, we picked up, we picked up this. Uh, I believe that is the um, Christian Bale Batman. I think it looks like it that's what i thought it was um when i saw it again this was just on the floor with these little pokemons there again before i picked up all the power rangers didn't realize he had them with him uh, there was really slim pickings and also the first thing i picked up was another power ranger mega's order very newer newer is that even a word um modern zord again i just could not find anything and that was how it was going uh, until um I got sorted out with this lot. Also, these cool um, bootleg rangers were in there as well. They're always uh, decent to pick up. I've got a few accessories here that I still haven't uh, managed to find. They go with the um, crane sword. Oh, nearly, nearly lost the Pikachu. But no wonder why he's angry. He nearly lost him. Uh, a few more accessories here that I just haven't got around to uh, matching up yet. I believe... Um, these little sword things go with those bootleg Power Rangers. Uh, that's that tip of the red Tyrannosaurus I mentioned earlier. So glad I got that. I've probably got a Tyrannosaurus, a Tyrannosaurus Zord. Well, I can't even speak. That I can just quickly uh, swap over and attach that to, which is decent. A couple of these that I'm not too sure where they go with. Um, this sort of shotgun thing, but that could just be like a chat me kind of style figure. I don't know if it goes with anything. Uh, I think... The sword and the axe, they might go with one of the uh, the night bad guy. But we'll just check it all out. Also got this. Again, normally these little bits at the bottom there are for the Power Rangers. But I can't remember what Power Ranger had this kind of lacrosse kind of um, 
stick. Uh, I just, again, just need to do a little bit of research on that and find out. Uh, last but not least, didn't expect to see this at the boot fair. Uh, was the Vintage Collection Mandalorian figure. It's in the go of my Razor Crest. Uh, this was only a tenner. It's, again, it's for me. I only really wanted the Grogu because the Grogu in the Razor Crest is a boxed figure. I don't want to open it, but the Mando that comes with it is a loose figure anyway, so that's not a problem. But it's cool to have another one. Bit of a damage on him. Annoyingly, this was the actual uh, 3.75 Mando figure and Grogu that I had before that I sold back at the NEC and then obviously picked a Razor Crest up and now I need to get it. So uh, glad that's back. And again, I only paid a tenner for it, which is I think what I sold the loose figures for at the NEC. Um, I bought it when it was about £15, I think. Um, so not really any major loss but it was called fine because it was on my radar and just to pick it up at the boot fair for a decent price he had two other mandalorians uh a best guy one and the brown armored one but he wanted tens for that and this one had the grogu in it so could not leave them behind so there you have it guys my haul from the car boot sale uh, i hope the footage came out well it was uh very difficult finding things and it was just a lot of walking around just aimlessly walking around so hopefully there's a few bits in there and uh, i didn't realize the collector that i bought all the power rangers off was going to have it with him so i wasn't prepared with the camera it was away it was i packed it away in my bag so I wasn't expecting that and but he just popped it out on the floor and you know when you get that kind of like as soon as something like that that box comes out full of the um toys and everything you're just like oh no like you just know you're gonna get swamped any second so uh just did the deal got it around and straight into the car uh guys thank you very very much for watching please like and subscribe uh hopefully we will go out tomorrow but i'm not too sure but a very busy day tomorrow uh got brentford first game of the season on sunday and i've also got a day festival where i'm going to watch pendulum and limp biscuit uh after the football so really busy day so i might not i might just stay in bed and get those z's in and um go again next weekend guys thank you very much take it easy and happy hunting and uh leave a comment down below uh, what you liked take it easy guys see you soon peace